All right, so how we're gonna do our thumbnails, and I'll give you guys a template also, but basically, a business card is three and a half inches by two. This is a general shape, and we're gonna do some thumbnails first. Now, some people will choose a horizontal card. You can also do vertical, right? We're only doing fronts for right now. But just do a quick sketch like this, make sure they're proportional. If they're off a little bit, that's fine. If you wanna use a ruler, that's fine. But they just have to be proportional, right? Do not draw squares, right? We're doing business cards, three and a half by two inches. So make sure that your thumbnails are like this. Don't just draw on a piece of paper, your ideas. No, do this, this is a format. All right, so basically what you wanna do is, there's uh, certain things you want. You want a job title, right? Like, say you're the CEO, everybody loves to choose CEO, right? You're the boss. So it's gotta have your name. In my case, it's gonna have Antonio Novo, A Novo, I like to put that, right? I could put uh, president, whatever. I'm gonna do, you know, a graphic design house or, or studio, whatever, right? President. So we need that. Uh, we need a website. I know some of you guys say, oh, what do we need? Well, people still use websites, right? We need a phone number. I know some of you guys don't talk to each other, but we need phone number, right? We're just gonna make this stuff up for these, right? Uh, website, phone number, and any social media uh, handles that you may have, right? That's gotta be on here. Uh, I don't think very many people do fax, but <laughs> there's some people that still have fax. Uh, but these are some of the basic things. Let me see real quick. I can't see over there. Pause. Oh yeah, email address. I know some of you guys say, why do we need an email address? Well, when you join the grown up world of real world, you're gonna have an email address. I had forgotten that one. So these are the base things. Job title, website, phone number, social media handles, and email address. Now, some people will even do a QR code. You know, you can do QR codes that take you straight to a website or a video or something. That's something additional that you can do, right? QR codes. Uh, but that is not necessary. But these are the basic things you need. Who is giving you the business card? What kind of business is it? Obviously here I didn't show the logo. So when we're doing thumbnails, uh, the first things you wanna do is just break things down into shapes. What do I mean by that? Uh, they don't have to be super highly detailed, but for example, say I had a logo for my business, right? And say that I'm just doing a typographic logo. So I, maybe I'm doing something like this and you'll see what this comes, becomes. So I'm just doing this very basic. You can't really tell what it is and I'll show you guys when I start. Uh, and you don't, this is what we call uh, Greeking. That means you don't actually write the, the letters, but then you do like, okay, that would be my website. Uh, this would be my phone number, another line, very small text, right? So these are as if they were the text itself, right? But they're just little lines. They just represent some of the, some people will even go back and do a little bit like this to give it a little bit more realism. But it's just how many lines of information do we need, right? Uh, here would be our logo. Look at the spacing. We've got printing the spacing across here, right? Um, sometimes people will do the website at the very bottom, right? That's still a very important thing to have some kind of website. So as you can see, I'm just kind of like throwing stuff in there. I'm not doing anything uh, special. All right, and then again, uh, be creative. Uh, can you have stuff going off the edges? Sure. What if I just start drawing stuff like this, right? And then I do like a real quick uh, crosshatch to give it some images. These are just like graphics. Say they were circles like done in Photoshop or Illustrator, right? And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do my logo. They almost look like, uh, like the little ghost in Pac-Man. But you'll see. Again, just some ideas, right? And then uh, remember, we don't like typically vertical stuff. A lot of people will say, oh, I'm gonna do the text straight up and down. And eh, not good graphic design, very rarely used, maybe in some old school signage and stuff. But say that I just do a bar here, that's not representing any text. It's just like some uh, graphics or some shapes. And then for example, here I could do the text and they kind of conform to the shape. And again, website at the bottom, right? So. Basically, this is what we're doing. We're coming up with just thumbnail sketches of how to organize uh, our logo, our text that's gonna go on this business card onto a proportional uh, basic sketch. All right, and then here's a horizontal one. Uh, and remember, uh, in graphic design and business card design, 
there's just so many ways of doing that. That's why I have you guys research and look at stuff, right? People love to use a lot of little bullet points and then you have some information, right? All those necessary things that we talked about. Uh, some people like to do uh, a sidebar or a header, right? Say this was a solid color and maybe everything is horizontal on this, but you actually do say the website in here, like it's a black bar and then you put some white text so people actually can become interactive with the card. Oh, I gotta turn it sideways to read the, the website. You know, you can do stuff like that. That's kind of, you know, something different. And then of course you can have your logo here, right? And again, just represent it real quick. Just represent it real quick. Make sure you got nice spacing, see how there's space. It has to have some kind of order, right? We want business cards to have some kind of order. Here I'm just doing like, like a little color or something. But this is what we want. We want uh, some basic sketches, right? This is what we call thumbnail sketches. I compare it to, uh, like if you've ever had to reorganize your room at home, right? You can only put uh, all your furniture and stuff a certain way. That's kind of the way I visualize this. Like how can I make stuff fit in here, 